It was the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama and her chair, her chief and I and my cat had just settled our braids for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, over there arose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew in a flash, tore open the shutter and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new boys full of snow gave a luster of midday to the objects below. When what to my wondering eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. And the little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment he must be St. Nick. More rapid than the eagles in his choristers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called up my name. Now da Dasher, now Dasher, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, Daughter and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As he leaves that before the wild uh, hurricane fly, when they meet an obstacle, they mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew my, in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came, with a bow. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with acid and soot, and a bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry, his droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and his beard on the chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his mouth, and it, the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head, soon he gave he gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to work. He filled all the stocking, and then turned with a jerk, laying his finger aside his nose, and giving a nod, and up the chimney he rode. He sprang to his sleigh, and to his hay hey team gave a whistle, and they all flew away, like down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.